Oh, hey guys. Today I want to talk to you about how spin works, okay? How spin works because I think a lot of people get this confused out there and if they really kind of understood what was going on, you know, physically to the ball, even though I am certainly no rocket scientist, okay? So don't think I'm about to get into a bunch of little angles and mathematical equations for you because that ain't gonna happen on this video. I'm gonna make it super simple for you and me to explain. All right, so top spin versus slice, right? What does the ball, we wanna think about what the ball naturally wants to do so we can make the ball do what we want it to do. Does, does that make sense? So I think this is where people get confused. What does topspin do? Now, a lot of times you're seeing the ball when, when the ball is going over the net on topspin, it tends to go higher over the net. A lot of times there may be a slice shot that you would watch on TV, right? The topspin ball kind of goes up and then drops, and the slice ball a lot of times knifes and stays nice and low. But did you know that topspin naturally actually wants to sink down and dive when you hit it? And slice actually off your strings naturally wants to rise up, all right? And that's where the floaty, crummy slice comes in from people because I don't think they really understand that. Slice naturally wants to raise up. So if you just look at the way you're getting your racket, if you're gonna hit top spin, your strings are gonna be facing the ground. And when you come up to the ball, you're gonna put a brush on the ball. You're gonna put a spin on the ball. Let me put this on the ground so you can kind of so you can kind of see it better, right? And this ball, as I'm doing this, it's rolling end over end. And when I and when I do that in the match, it's gonna go up over that net and sink down. Now, lots of people are first learning top spin. I'm just gonna move the camera around here for you guys. The thing is, lots of people when they start hitting top spin and they start doing it right, they kind of get bummed out because they don't realize that they're on the right path and they see all their balls go in the net. Right? They'll see their balls actually sink down. That ball actually had a lot of top spin on it. And that's why, especially when you're back at the baseline, when you hit top spin, you got to make sure that you get under the ball. You got you to get under the ball so when you go and you're swinging this way, even though you can see the edge of the racket's kind of facing forward, you got enough below the level of the ball up to it to make that ball go up and then sink down. All right? So you need, you need to do that. Now on slice, it's just the opposite. If you're coming on a slice under the ball, well then your ball is gonna, gonna fly. Another thing too about top spin is it can actually, it rewards acceleration. Slice does to a certain extent, but you can't let it get, go too, you can't go too crazy with it. When you're hitting a top spin forehand or a top spin backhand, once you get the timing, you can pretty much swing. That's the cool thing, and that's why the pros hit it a lot more than, than they do the slice, is you can swing pretty much as fast as you want, and that ball, that spin on it, is creating the safety to where it's gonna fall in. In fact, one of the dangers of tossing, once you get really get the feeling of it, is you may put too much spin on the ball to where it keeps landing short. Great example of that is Rafael Nadal. When he's on his game, his balls with the spin go deeper, when he's off his game, it's not that he's missing so much, it's that his balls have so much spin and they're landing short, his timing's not quite there, and then the other pros step in and crush it. And that doesn't happen too often, that's why Rafa has so many darn grand slams. But, let's, let's move on. Now, on the slice, on the slice, you're gonna see that most of the time when the pros are getting ready, they actually hold the racket way up here. So now, they're coming down on the ball because they want to keep that ball down. You got to really think about when you're hitting a slice, you got to think about keeping that ball down because it naturally wants to rise up. So if you hit it a little wrong, that slice is going to rise up and it's going to be crummy. If you get it just right and you really knife down on the ball, see now it's going to go lower and through the court. So really think about that. Your top spin is always going to be a shot to where since it naturally wants to fall in the court, it's gonna be a shot that you can develop and be more aggressive with. Your slice is gonna most likely be more of a placement shot, more of a strategic shot, a defensive shot, because you're not ever gonna be able to go to a slice and let's like whack really hard at it. That looks silly. And, it, and see, I can, I can swing 
that fast on the toss and forehand, I don't look silly. I go like this on the slice, I look not like a very good player, and that's because if I go to do that, you see, that ball is gonna fly out, so I've gotta have more control over my swing so I can keep it nice and low and slow. And so if you like that and you're like, yeah, these are the kind of changes I need to make to my game, I've got something cool for you today. It's called the Modern Forehand Makeover, where I got a five-part series. You can check out a little uh, kind of preview I have for you right here, right after this video, where I show you everything you're gonna get, all five videos you're gonna get, so there's no guesswork for you. You know exactly it's gonna be pretty good. You can get a Modern Tennis Makeover absolutely free right now. Uh, all you gotta do is just watch the video and then click that you want it and you get it absolutely free. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, ask questions. This video might have been a little bit like confusing at some points, hopefully not. I tried to make it as clear as I could. But let me know if there's any questions and um, don't forget to share this video too. You can share videos on YouTube as well. Take care, this is Pete from Crunch Time Coaching, sign off. Watch the preview. Hey, stop there. This is Pete from Crunch Time Coaching, and today, today I wanna give you a modern tennis makeover on the forehand. I've got a five-part free train series that is going to cure most of the problems I see from recreational players over the age of 40. Most recreational players lack the desired spin parent control they want because of inferior outdated stroke technique. Funky grips, poor setup, and incorrect swing pass are killing your forehand. Sign up for my free five-part series, Modern Tennis Makeover, and start building a better forehand instantly by watching my first video on core power, which I promise is going to be an eye-opening experience. In video two, watch one of the biggest changes that's happened on the professional tour in the last seven years, used by your favorite pros, Djokovic, Federer, Murray, Nadal, and it's used to dramatically shorten the swing cycle, yet increase racket head speed and power on the ball. In video three, I'm gonna show you how to absolutely murder your approach shot. In video four, I'm gonna show you why not only learning a swing volley is a costly mistake, but I'm also gonna show you how and when to use it. Finally, in video five, I'm gonna show you a disguised tossed and lob that's going to have your opponents walking on eggshells every time they approach the net against you. I promise fun, enjoyment, and improvement or your money back. Guys, it's absolutely free. You have nothing to lose and a modern forehand to gain. So click here to start training instantly and watch the first video on core power right now. We'll see you inside the free train series.